friends welcome back to my channel if you watched my last video you know that we talked about the low-rise pants and how those are coming back and today i'm going to be continuing our conversation on the y2k styles in our spring and summer of 2022 we are going to notice this year that everyone is dressing like it's 2002 and not 2022 but I think that this is a great time for sustainable fashion to thrive. So I think that this year we are gonna start seeing a lot less micro trends and these fast fashion movements. So last year, last summer, we had movements like the House of Sunny dress, the crochet dress, the hibiscus print dress. We had all of these outfits blown up on social media and everyone just had this need for them. This year, we're gonna see a lot less of those blown loan up fashion trends and more people embracing their own styles and embracing their individuality. So with the Y2K style coming back into mainstream fashion, we're going to see these super individual looks that have been upcycled and created into something more new and unique. So you might be thinking, what does Y2K actually mean? So Y2K is an aesthetic that was inspired by the mid 90s and early 2000s. So basically it came about when the internet was coming more popular during the dot com boom. So this style is typically a little futuristic, well futuristic in the sense of we're talking about the 90s and early 2000s. So it's going to be futuristic, we're going to have a little retro edge. Think shiny materials. We're gonna have a lot of colors in our outfits. We're gonna wear chunky statement earrings. We're gonna have those beaded necklaces on, the pleated skirts, the chunky sneakers, those platform shoes, the low rise jeans, those mini skirt suits. So with this massive peak and advancement in technology in the, in the early 2000s and the late 90s, fashionistas were both optimistic and curious about the future and what is to come. And they started incorporating their outfits into a a look at me kind of moment. Some of these era's biggest influencers were gonna be um, Carrie Bradshaw, The Bratz Dolls, JLo, Destiny's Child. There's films like The Matrix and Mean Girls and all of those had very unique styles and very unique clothing and we've kind of already seen that come back with shows like Emily in Paris, Euphoria, the continuation of Sex in the City, their TV show, and Just Like That. We're seeing all of these very unique, individualistic outfits. It's all about making a statement, a look at me statement. So in the early 2000s and the late 90s, the people who were who created the style, who were influencing the style, were celebrities on red carpets, and they were getting their look at me moments. Right now, because of social media, all of us have our own red carpet moment. A lot of people are posting what they're wearing, um, so that is going to kind of give us in this mentality of wear what you want to wear, look good, share it with others, have your look at me moment this spring and summer. We have been affected by COVID. So I think that as a society during quarantine, because we were wearing those loungewear outfits, now people are folding up their sweatpants, putting them back in the drawer, and we just want happier, simpler times. And the Y2K movement is perfect for expressing happy, fun, energetic outfits, and we've already seen all more colors incorporated in styles. We're gonna continue seeing that. In New York, Milan, and Paris, several designers and brands have already started showing these more colorful looks. As I mentioned in my last video, we are gonna continue seeing those daringly low, low-rise jeans and mini skirt suits. Um, we are gonna start seeing the mini, mini skirt, I think it looks just like a big belt around a waist. So we, yes, that's coming back. For me personally, I will never be seen in that. We are gonna see those halter top dresses and we're gonna see them all out just casually. And we also, as I said in the last video, skin is still in. We're gonna go for those baby doll t-shirts. We are gonna see cropped. We're gonna see those bra types. We are gonna see the beaded. We are gonna see a lot of these um, kind of up tie in the front shirts. We're gonna see a lot of strings, a lot of like fray. I think that we are about to get blown up with the biggest individualistic fashions movement that we have seen in a long time. 2022 is our year, okay? We're gonna do the most regardless. Don't care what anyone says, we're doing the most with our clothing. Let's start off with talking about baby tees. So this was an iconic look from the early 2000s where you're just gonna wear this tight little 
crop top. So I have one on right now. It's just like this tight little strawberry shirt and it's super cute. Um, we're going to see a lot more of these like graphic tees coming in with like quirky little notes or cute little characters or patterns or graphics on the front. Um, we've already seen brands like Juicy Couture doing a lot more of these, bringing them back, but also we don't have to go to Juicy Couture to buy our shirts. We can literally go to the thrift store, shop in the kids section. They have so many options. Like that's super weird, but that's really what's coming back. Go purchase that $3 t-shirt that is going to last you forever and look cute with every outfit that you wear. Um, another thing that we're seeing come back is those metallic materials. So with the tech boom in the early 2000s and late 90s, the idea of the futuristic fashion was a huge trend. The shiny material tops or shiny pants are a great way to make your outfit pop. So try a metallic puffer jacket or pants and maybe pair them with like a bright color. You can also incorporate color in your shoes. So if you want to do a more neutral outfit with these metallic tones, wear some colorful shoes. We have also seen that track suits are coming back. So Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie, the screen queens of the early 2000s, wore their must-have track suits from Juicy Couture. And we are gonna start seeing those track suits coming back this spring. We're gonna see those low-rise sweatpants with the matching crop top, maybe even a matching jacket and with a purse. We're gonna see a lot of that monochromatic look. We've also seen celebrities like Kylie Jenner already rocking this look. Here she is in her black Juicy Couture. But personally, I think that if you are gonna wear a tracksuit, throw that black out. We do not need black. Let's do some bright colors. Let's do like, let's recreate this look and do a pink or do a blue. Let's make, make it fun. Pair it with some chunky earrings or some fun sunglasses. So um, another shirt style that we're gonna see are gonna be these bra tops. So personally, I don't think I could wear these, especially just given that I'm living in Lexington, Kentucky and that I would definitely get a lot of stares. And yes, this is a look at me, but I also am not like, look at me kind of thing. And so we are gonna see a lot of bra tops. I think it's more gonna be in fashion forward cities, but it is basically just wearing like a swimsuit as a top. And you can pair that with a crop jacket. You can pair it with a nice pair of sunglasses, a matching purse. You can really have fun with that and just kind of wear what you're comfortable with. And if you wanna wear a bra top girl, you wear it. You wear that outside, you rock that look. And um, we also talked about dresses being big this season. So I think that we are gonna see a lot of um, dresses that have kind of transformed. So we might see some bodycon dresses. We might stick to the more loose flowy dresses. We are still gonna see those baby doll dresses continuing to be in. But I do think that the most popular dress that we are going to see are going to be dresses with the cutouts because skin is in this year and we are going to have a lot of cutout moments and flowy freestyle, but with that color pop in there. And I think that that is going to be super big this year. Um, but that is all that I have for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Join me in my next video where we are going to go over um, monochromatic outfits, which basically means you're wearing the same color for your top and your bottoms. And we're going to see how that's going to tie into our wardrobe in this spring and summer of 2022. Thank you guys. And I will see you in my next video.